Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Taco Impostors for Thursday, April 11th, 2024. Um, what were they gonna say? Yeah, Um, I was just watching a... Billiam video, and it was him talking about Spike TV, and how there were some absolutely god-awful, like, stupid shows on that channel. Like... Uh, Mansers with like just hey, whatever like it's just stupid sex crap where it's like oh your how many can your boobs create electricity? Can you make can beer make your girlfriend's boobs bigger? Uh, would your ding 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 dong get do, like blow up if like break if you had you know did it too much or you know can you eat, yeah not eat can you like s freeze your farts and smell them later like I'm like oh my god it's disgusting. But then I'm like there's other shows like. A Thousand Ways to Die, which is, like, such a crazy, creepy, bizarre show that made me paranoid about, made people paranoid about everything. I wasn't super, super paranoid, but I hated that show. I hate, but it was one of those shows that I hated with a passion, right? I just hated that show. But, I didn't just hate that show. I hated that show and couldn't stop watching it. There's, like, that weird, like, but I can't stop watching it. There's something about it. I just can't stop. Yeah, we can't stop. And we won't stop! And I'm not saying it's a good or bad channel. Because it had some good shows. Like, it had Thousand... We Did I Was Bad. But then it had good shows like um, Deadliest Warrior. I thought Deadliest Warrior was actually a decent show. I was like, wow. That's actually a really cool show. It is a really good show. I thought it was amazing. I loved it. Because cause it, it appealed to like the males like, Who would win in a fight? A pirate? Or a... Or a knight. Who would win in a fight? A ninja? Or an assassin? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. You know? So, yeah. Yeah, so... I'm not saying it's, you know, gr good or bad. But what I'm saying is, it's like, oh yeah, it's just kind of, like, weird, a weird channel. Because it had everything from, like, the good stuff, to the bad stuff, to the whack stuff. Like, there was, a, I don't remember what the show was called exactly, but there was a show where, like, basically, you got, like, evicted from your place of, like, whatever you owned. And they were like, yep. And now we're going to, you know, and you and you bring this, like, really big, buff, mu muscular guy in. And he would just, like, literally, like, tackle you to the ground because you were like, nah, I'm going to get you. Yo, get out of here, man. You ain't going to live here no more. It's like, what the heck? It's such a weird, like, whoa, that is crazy. It's a weird show. Again, though, I remember watching it as a kid and just kind of being like, because, okay, Billiam's first video starts with, like, it just disguised itself during the day as, like, a show that sh showed reruns of, you know, old movies and such. You know, different movies. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. And I'm like, I forgot about that. And then, at night, was, like, an adult, raunchy, weird, whackness fest. And it's like, oh, my God, that's just crazy. But, yeah. Because, like, that's the thing, right? It was, a, it was a lot of, like, I hate this with a passion. But there's something about how I can't look away. I just can't look away from Thousand Ways to Die. I can't look away from Deadliest Warrior. I can't look away from that weird fiction show. I can't look away from these, like, terrible shows that I never watched, but saw all the time. And I don't know. I only watched Deadliest Warrior, Thousand Ways to Die, and that fiction show. I never watched anything else on that channel. Didn't watch Mansers. Didn't watch... What's the other one? Mansers and... Uh, what's the other one? Dang it. <laughs> Mansers and the other one was what? Mansers and what? I don't know, I guess whatever. Mans like Mansers, Mansers is weird. And
Yeah, it was like weird. Yeah, like, like I'm not, look, I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying, like, oh my gosh, it's weirdly, like, well. I don't particularly think Spike TV was a bad thing. Didn't Spike TV have the Game Awards for a while? Like, and that's Spike Lee's Spike TV, right? Spike Lee, right? I believe so. Like, TL, TTL, Turner Classic Movies, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Same kind of setup, yeah. But, so it's weird. It's very very bizarre of a channel, but, like, I only watched, like, three shows on there. That was, like, the time, right when, right when I was, like, figuring out TV was, like, garbage. As in, like, it's dead. It's garbage. You can find all this stuff online. What's, why am I watching this? Basically, it was so stupid, but it was, like, okay, well. And I was finding all the show channels, like, there was Spike TV, there was OLN, and there was A&E. So I watched things like uh, Duck... Duck Dynasty and Duck Commander and, uh, uh, Repo, Repo Man? No, Repo something. Repo Show or something like that, where they repo do, repossess cars. That was a good one. I like that show. Um, and what else? Um, then there's a whole bunch of other ones, like, what else? There's a few other shows on there that I watched. I have, a uh, season three of, uh, Duck Dynasty. I never loved Duck Dynasty, but my friend did, and we watched it. Oh, uh, Storage Wars. Storage Wars Canada. Storage Wars Texas. Storage Wars New York. I watched all those. They're great. Canada I didn't really watch much of because it's kind of terrible. But, it, you know, it's a thing, so. Um, but I watched Storage Wars Texas a lot and then the original Storage Wars. Oh, my God. Until I found out that it was kind of fake. The same way, like, I found out that the Pawn Stars was fake. But what was fake about the Pawn Stars was they scripted a bunch of the things between, like, finding people coming in and finding stuff. And so for a lot of um, the show, it's real. Like, you're getting real people coming in and really coming on camera to really sell their real items. But not... But then when you go things between, like, oh, they weren't actually talking about that. They were like, you can tell. And you can tell now that, like, oh, God, he's, like, hamming it up for the camera. Like, oh, my freaking gosh, Rick, shut the frick up. Stop reading their god-awful lines. Stop it now. They're just awful. Gosh darn it. You know, I'm just like, what the heck, man? I don't care. I'm just saying, like, wow. You know? Stop it, man. Hamming it up for the camera by reading their stupid, you know, script. God dang, awful. But yeah, I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying it's so, like, not good. Because, like, oh, God, it's fake. Or, okay, this is History Channel, right? So that was Spike TV. This is the History Channel, right? And then... You had other shows like The Pickers. So you had Cana American Pickers and Canadian Pickers. And to be honest, they were bad shows. I watched them again recently on um, Tubi TV, the American Pickers. Canadian Pickers I haven't seen in since... I used to watch them as a kid in maybe, what, 2012? 2015, uh, 2015, maybe? Somewhere around there. But, like... And it was very much like, all you ever wanted to buy was gas memorabilia. Whether it was Canadian or American. For some fricked up... Whatever reason, it was like, no. I don't know why. I don't care. I'm not going to watch you watch... And the things they would pass by and pass up because they just did not see it was, or didn't care because it wasn't a gas item or wasn't the item they wanted, was such, or a sign for gas or whatever. I was like, oh my god, was so stupid. I'd see little things, but, oh my god, that's so cool. Go look at that. Uh, no. Because that's what you would do now. You would have all these people pulling out random cool stuff. Like, that would do that. I'd go for the markets and do that every day. If I knew I could make money, like, making videos of doing this, I would do that every day. I go with those, like, uh, spy glasses, bring them in, look at them, be cool. It'd be such a cool, and I mean cool, cool, cool video series. Just going to random places. Pawn shops, thrift shops, flea markets, swap meets, uh, secondhand stores, uh, where else? You know, cool stuff like that, where it's like, yeah. You know, it's like, that's so cool. But no. Looking up all the cool things. And I'd, I'd maybe even make it live. And be like, hey, go look at this thing. Or have people say, oh, you missed that thing. You know, and, you know the thrift stores, like the LGR thrifts and such. You know, people who go to thrift stores and like look at things, find things, and do whatever. It's cool. Goodwill stuff, you know. 
I have a well, Renaissance, which is our Canadian or our Quebec version of Goodwill. I have a Village de Valar, which is a Valley Village. I have other like random local local stores. I mean, look, I'm just saying, like, I would do that. It'd be so cool, but no. The pickers just pick whatever they pick, and it's like, oh, you suck. I was watching them again, and it is not terrible. And then the other one that my friend made the point about is all the car shows where they say stuff like, we tricked this out as much as we could. We, everything ever possible was done to this car because it was modified to the extreme, to the max. And my friend went, no, you didn't. And he lists off a dozen things that he just didn't do. No, you could have done this, 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 And it's like, no, I'm not saying it was bad. You know, there's stuff like, uh, what was that guy? Something Restoration, Vegas Restorations? I don't remember. There was, um, Desert Car Kings. That was a cool one. But Desert Car Kings had to sell it off in a auction again, so they had to present be presentable. But I'm just saying I could have done more. If you say that, right? And then there was also, um, We Ask Monkey Garage and a bunch of other shows like that. Those were, like, fine shows. So that was History Channel. Gas Monkey Garage is on Discovery, but... And then there was a Discovery Channel. Now, there's good shows on that show, History Channel, where it was, like, actual history documentaries. And then things like Canadian Made, you know? Um, Pawn Stars and Pickers weren't that bad. I just thought that I got to the point where, like, oh, okay, this is getting annoyingly, like, ugh, it's fake and boring, whatever. But, uh, the other stuff was, like, um, the, then, like, then Discovery came along. And it had some of the coolest shows... Man, did I love Discovery from Cash Cab to Canada's Worst Handyman, Canada's Worst Driver, um, Daily Planet, something like If the Earth Was Drained or something, I think something like that, Deadly Stuff, oh, and then they had the greatest, one of the greatest shows on TV, which was uh, <coughs> Mythbusters, oh boy, was that show great, oh, How It's Made, oh, one of the greatest shows ever, god, it was so good, it's a guilty pleasure because it's so, like, boring, but it's so cool. I always wanted to work in a factory to make something. I always did. I didn't care what it was. I just wanted to make stuff in a factory. Because I wanted to be that guy who, said, who like, you could say, or I could say, hey, I'm the guy who makes your toilet paper. I'm the guy who makes your water bottles. I'm the guy who makes your tape. I'm the guy who makes your, I don't know, styrofoam. I'm the guy who makes your, uh, I don't know, thumbtacks. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm the guy who makes those stupid Christmas ornaments in a factory somewhere. Or Christmas nutcrackers in a factory somewhere. And it's like, yeah, well... I always liked that. Like, oh, man. Did I learn a lot from that channel? Not really. I remember exactly what channel they were on. That was 64, and CNN was 65, and uh, I believe History Channel was 77. I remember um, Family Channel was 160. 161 was Treehouse. 71 was... Uh, 70 was Teletoon. 71 was YTV. TVO Kids was, like, 18 or something, or 14 or something. Uh, what else was there? Oh, God. Or, like, 22 or something, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, those were good channels, too. Like, PBS was 1555. Or 1552. Or 1551. No, that was 1555. Man. Like, some of the great... You know what's really underrated? PBS Kids. PBS Kids had some great shows on it. Everything from Fretz from with Ruff Ruff Men to Maya Miguel to... What else did they have? Zoom to, uh... Zabumafu to, um... Zoom to Zabumafu to, uh, what else? Oh, God. Oh, the other ones. God. No! Oh, well, Dragon Tales. That's one. To, uh, you know, Arthur, the postcards from Buster. I think it was a great channel. It was very educational, very, like, oh, good. It was so good. And then Peavis Kids had a, had a, that's all Peavis Kids. Oh, Cyber Chase. Peavis Kids had a, um, oh, uh, Martha Speaks. Martha was a married dog. She went rough and rough and rough. Rough and rough and rough. And she ate an alphabet soup. And some letters went in her brain and she learned how to speak. Interesting. Um, Clifford, that kind of stuff. Where it was like, oh yeah. Uh, Between the Lions. Um, Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow. Take a look inside a book. Reading Rainbow. Anyway, what else was there? Yeah, and, and, and it was so great. It was such a good channel. Like, I don't know, it was so underrated. Um, what were they going to say about that? Yeah, educational. Good stuff. Top kids stuff. I don't know. What were they going to say? Was they going to say something about, like, the channel? I don't know. Yeah, it was a good ch that's a good underrated channel. Then, then, see, my other thing was, I never had Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, or Nickelodeon. 
I had, like, Family Channel, which was a Canadian ripoff of Family Channel, which I watched basically the same shows on, but just maybe later, or maybe this or that, I don't know. And then, okay, um, I had things like Teletoon, which I also think was a Canadian show, maybe it was Consumers Video or some other thing, but I know YTV was Canadian. Like, like, I knew why. I know for a fact why TV was Canadian. Like, I know for a fact. Because I remember, like, finding out one day. You know what that terrible TV show? But I liked one season for some reason. Oh, man, my chair. Um, I liked, um, The Next Star was basically, like, a kid's got talent, right? Like, or a kid's idol, American Idol. And I remember... No, because the thing that stuck out to me, stuck out to me was... Struck me, stuck out to me was... The show basically was this whole, like, if you won, you did, like, Canadian uh, American Idol. You, you did, like, The Idols, where it's like, oh, yeah, okay. You get a, you get one album. You get one album produced for free, and you get, you get one album. That's what you win. And I remember the guy who won, I did not hear a single thing about that guy ever again. But, <laughs> Two out of the six finalists, I think it was six, I saw, I saw multiple music videos and songs for. I was like, what? The guy, I heard one thing about, saw his music video, and then his, like, song that he got out of it, which is, uh, I don't remember what it was, actually, but I remember best friend's girl. It was Diego, and it was like, my best friend's girl, now I'm living in my best friend's world. She's the only one for me, the only girl I need, and she's gonna be mine somehow, and my best friend's girl. There's other uh, things, too. There was like, uh, the music videos are actually not that bad. I like some of the music videos. And then, I just didn't care for the show ever again. I never cared for it before that, and I never cared for it after that. It was just a weird, like, What? We're talking about old, like, TV shows, I guess. And then Teletoon had Teletoon Retro, which is, a, like, a spin-off of it, which had all the shows from, like, in the past, like, all the retro shows, like, I think it was 90s and before, but it was some, I think, uh, 2000s. But, like, man, was that one of the greatest channels ever made? Because it did, like, the whole cool, like, thing where, like, it showed... I would never have known half these shows existed. Like, I would never have known half of these shows, would, any of these shows would, exist, would have existed without Teltoon Retro. But man, that was a good uh, channel, man. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying this kind of is what it is. Like, oh yeah, it's good. You know what I mean? It's, no, okay. Yeah, it was a great channel. Because, like, YTV had a weird thing, too. Yeah, what did they start talking about? Yeah, YTV. Yeah, the next star. And it was like a YTV exclusive thing. Yeah, weird. It was a channel like that. And then had, and, and, so I did watch a lot of shows that kids watched, like Rugrats and, you know, all that stuff, but I watched it on either Teletoon Retro, so in reruns, or, not re not just reruns, but I watched them in, like, oh, that's okay, um, I'd watch them on, like, Family Channel instead of Disney Channel, Teletoon instead of, you know, Nickelodeon, uh, YTV instead of Cartoon Network, you know? Which, you know, that's fine. I didn't watch them on their, you know, original channel where then they came out, but I definitely watched. Like, I like the, the channel. Uh, the channels are fine. They had their own, like, little spin on them. You know another good show? In Real Life. It was basically like a reality show where... It was like an Amazing Race kind of show where it's like, go do all these challenges and get these clues and find out stuff and figure out stuff and, and then get to the finish line before, you know, the last guy. And don't be the last cross the finish line because the last team was always a team of two so and his kids and the the last last team would come out and be like you be you would be eliminated until so you'd get to the end and there'd be two and you'd be like well now you have to go or three or something teams remember that there were, i watched the first like three seasons i thought it was really cool i liked it a lot because there, like, there was like elements to it where did you vote too or did you vote did you vote who got off oh, i don't remember i know if you had the wrench well, no, because if you had the wrench, it wasn't an immunity idol. It was the next episode. 
or you got voted for who wants the wrench. I don't remember what it was. Something to the effect of, like, there's a voting process involved in some way. And I remember there was a wrench where if you had the wrench, you could um, give the wrench to, like, someone and give them a, uh, not an advantage, what do you call it? A penalty or, like, a handicap, a handicap. So, like, you know, I'm like, oh, wow. I'm not saying, oh, what am I saying that for? I don't know. But, yeah, that was a good show. I didn't watch the, like, last season. I think it was only, like, one more season after the... Whatever. And it was good. It got progressively worse and kind of dumb. And then they had a show called, uh, So Weird. No, sorry. Yeah, So Weird. And it was a weird show. It was a, ske- it was a kid's sketch comedy show. It was, like, a kid's SNL. Man, was it a good show. Better than So Random. I hated So Random. Well, actually, that's not true. I liked So Random. I just look back at So Random and go, Wow, that's just not... Good. It was such a weird... Because what it was, was... They took, okay, they took the fake show that Sonny was in, in Sonny with a Chance, right? So that fake show in Sonny with a Chance, and turned it into, like, an actual TV show with Sonny, uh, with, uh, Demi Lovato and all those characters. And I'm like, okay. And they even got the guy from, uh, the, sh- like, fake soap opera. It was something like, uh, um, Waterfall or some Falls, I don't remember. Sterling Falls or something, some dumb name like that. And so, at least for me, I was like, this is kind of terrible. Some of them are okay. Like, I mean, I remember some skits from it and sketches, and they're they're decent. They're fine. The kid Sean, Shane from, um, actually, there's two people from, uh, I don't remember the other guy's name. Don't ask me. I can picture his face, but I don't know his name. But Shane, Shane from Smosh came from that chat, came from so random, so. I mean, I'm not... I don't know. I'm not saying it's a terrible show, but I just didn't like it. I'm I just didn't like it. I don't I don't think it's te- awful, but so random was so weird better. Or so weird was so much better. It was so weird. Man. Yeah. It was so weird. But it was so funny. Man, was it like Oh boy. I remember me and my brother used to watch that all the time. Just all the time. We just watched it all the time. That show. And then there was a there was a period of time between like I want to say like 2011 and 2015, when my brother just stopped watching TV. He found the internet and was like, I can play video games. I can watch YouTube. I can do so many better things with my life than watch TV, which was dead by like 2012. I'm not even joking. I said this to my mother in like 2011. I'm like, or 12 or something. I'm like, TV is dead. And he's like, she's like, no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's uh, completely dead. I don't know why we even have TV. And I don't understand why we have TV today. We could just, you know, buy, you know, streaming stuff or whatever, but... I mean, you, get, you can get your news from the internet. You can get your sports from the internet. So why are you watching the two... Do, why are you paying for t- the two things that you sh- could get for... Not for free, per se, but you could get it without TV. You could save money, right? And so my dad's like, yeah, but it's not that much more expensive to add TV. I'm like, yeah, sure. But I'm not t- going to have TV. I'm gonna ha- going to have a TV, but I'm not going to have TV when I'm... You know, when I move out, when I get older, you know, when I'm an adult, you know, when I'm older, you know. And he's like, fair enough, you don't have to. So, yeah. but yeah. So, and so my brother just stopped watching TV at a certain point because he just like was like, I don't care. I really don't. Because nothing was good on TV. Also, that was the other thing. The shows we used to watch. So, let's say Disney Channel. So, you have Recess, we used to watch. The Emperor's New Groove. Sweet of Zack and Cody. He stopped watching when the Sweet of Zack came on. So, that's about 2010. Wasn't it 10 to 12? I think it was 10 to 12, yeah. Man, was that... Okay. Um, unpopular opinion? I think Sweet Life, is Zach and, uh, Sweet Life on Deck is better than Sweet Life on Zack and Cody. Now, that might be blasphemy, but man, did I think that show was better. Because it just brought a whole new, like, dimension, level of... Surf- like, dimension of... So level of, like, the show, the characters, the people, the, like... It didn't go... F- it went from, like, ugh, crappy, like, whatever, to... Oh my god, this is actually amazing. I watched both of them back in 2020. I watched uh, Sweet Love on Deck and then Sweet Love for Zack and Cody. I almost, okay, couldn't watch Sweet Love for Zack Sweet Love Zack and Cody. Just how bad it was. But I loved Sweet Love on Deck. Like I was like, this is amazing. And their movie is awful. Their movie is so bizarre. It's like a twin experiment thing where, where, like Zack and Cody. Well, because Cody doesn't get into, like, horror or a school or something, or trying to get into a school or something, and then, like, realizes, oh, I can do some, like, experiments. I think Zach 
or both of them. Somebody realized we can make some money by like doing some experiments, like you know, medical procedures, medical stuff, and medical treatments, and medical testing, right? And and so they were like, yeah, sure. But then they realized, oh wait, this is like twin test. This is basically the whole like twin experiments that the uh, Nazis were doing. Can twins feel pain? Can twins do this? Can twins? Do I'm like. I didn't realize at the time, obviously, because I didn't know it, but now I'm like, oh my god, that's terrible! You're doing some Nazi twin experiments, man. You know? Ooh, that's crazy. You, you know, okay, go watch the episode by, uh, Tim Kennedy, of, of, um, Joe Rogan's podcast, of Tim Kennedy, where he's talking about, uh, finding Hitler, searching for Hitler, or rediscovering Hitler, whatever, finding Hitler, and he talks about how, like, there's a place in South America called Colonia Dignidad, which is a place in Argentina, is it, or Chile? Anyway, and basically, it's, it's, um, Berlin 2.0, where they just, like, ran away to hide. Like, they got the highest people, you know, Hitler was, you know, claimed to be dead, but, you know, gotten, you know, and then they got the, 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 the guy below him. But the next guy, bah, and then he took, like, three of the next guys below him, and they were all, like, the three highest people, or four highest people, or whatever. And man, was he like, and they went and did all the same things. They went and did the same things there to the to the to the South Americans. And you go there and you think, oh yeah, hola, and you're like, um, guten tag. You're like, oh yeah, we're not in South America. We're in Brazil. T- uh, Brazil. We're in Berlin 2.0. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, we are. A hundred percent, we're in Berlin 2.0. Anyway, I'm just saying that because like the twin experiment, but that movie is awful. That movie's like so bad. <laughs> the 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 Three Life Zack and Co- the Three Life on Deck movie is so bad. <laughs> it's terrible. No, I'm saying, am I saying it's the worst ever? No, of course not. But it's so not good. <laughs> it's it's so not a good movie. Now, so the way it's filmed, the way it's produced, the color grading. I you know what I hate? I hate color grading that looks awful. Go watch um, Cinemassacre's Pets video. God, it's awful. Or go watch, like, certain things, and you'll watch... Like, Zathura is, like, the weirdest color-graded movie ever once they get into, like, space. It's all, like, golden and gray. It's weird, but yeah. color gra- That movie was color-graded so bizarre. And, like, the camera they decided to use was just... all oh, camera they decided to use? Weird. You know what I... Okay. I was at the Young Adults... Speaking of cameras, I was at the Young Adults rally last night. And I'm looking at the cameraman... Camerawoman. Photographer, sorry. And... I'm looking at the camera photographer and I go, I don't own a digital camera, DSLR or any of that kind of stuff, right? I don't own one. Or a mirrorless, whatever. I just don't own one, right? Is it financially make any sense, viable, feasible? Like, does it make any sense to rent cameras for something like that? Or would it only make sense if you were doing a long shoot for, like, let's say a movie to rent cameras? Because I know you can rent cameras, but would it make any sense to do so? Or should I just, like, buy a camera? Right? I don't really know, right? I don't know. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying, like, should you, you know, invest in a camera or should I rent a camera? Because I'd love to be the photographer there, but I just don't, because I could fix the problem. But, that I have with them. But anyway, of not taking pictures of people, certain people. But yeah, I don't know, right? I feel like maybe, but I also feel like it's a stupid idea. Like, just a dumb, dumb idea. Like, just like, no. Don't do that. Stupidly, stupid idea. Because it does seem stupid to me. It, it does. It, 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 it does. It sounds like a stupid idea. Because I feel, I feel like it'd be one of those things where I rent a camera to the point where I'm just, should have just paid for the said camera. Like, you should have just paid for the camera at this point. You, you could have bought a camera for the same 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 price if not more. Uh cheaper. Right? Right? So that, at least that's what it feels like to me. Like I feel like I would do that like oh. <laughs> Sorry, must have seen something that way though. But yeah, I feel like I don't know if it would be. If you know where a good place in Canada to rent in Quebec to rent for, like, a decent price. I'd do that, 100%. I'd 
I'll ask them what I should buy. I'll ask uh, my uh, local camera shop what I should buy. Because I feel like... Oh, no, I'm going to open up that and see if they'll buy my cameras off me. Because I have a few cameras that I might sell. But, yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, I feel like it's like, don't, don't buy it. What a waste of money. Because I feel like it is a waste of money. To rent it? I'm sorry, don't rent it. Buy it. Marfa was a Navajo dog. She went to woof and woof and woof. There you go. Cool, cool. So. Shun of a bimbo. Just a sec. I'm not here. There we go. Just a sec. I'm trying to check my... Uh oh, I'm trying to check. Um, my network. Look, ping google dot com. Really? Okay. Maybe I can open a new one. Wait a second. Wow, I don't have internet here. Interesting. Well then. See if I can turn it off. Let's see if it'll work. Let's see if it'll work. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like it would be a kind of dumb idea to like rent cameras. If you're not going to do like a shoot where you're trying to save thousands of dollars. No, you're going to spend too much money, right? I have no idea. I've never tried. I've never looked. I've never done the research. So maybe it makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. Seems like it wouldn't, but... I wouldn't know, because I've would never. i never tried and never looked into how much it would cost, so I don't know. Maybe, I'm just saying, like, it feels like it's stupid, but also it feels like maybe you could do it, but... I don't particularly think too much of it, but I also don't really care. I want to buy a computer, buy a thing anyway, so... Ah, oh, nice! I was right. Restart the computer, and there you go. Connection's back, but yeah. So for me, I'm just like, okay, cool. I like the computer. The computer. I like the thing. I I want to buy a camera eventually. I want to own a camera. Fuck. I want to be able to make videos and not movies, but but yeah, but uh, photos and videos. Any video? Okay. Any photo camera can do, or n most photo cameras. Ninety percent of photo cameras can do videos, but not all video cameras can do photos because some video cameras are just uh, what do you call it? Are just um, cinema cameras, which do no photos. But that's okay. My was a you move, 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 move. Anyway, so yeah, because I saw the the photographer again, and I looked at her, and I went, I want the freaking, I want a camera, because my my film camera. Forget it, stupidest idea ever. No, because what happened was not just stupid idea, and like, oh, that was dumb. Now I'm stuck with it. No, stupid idea in the sense that like. Just a sec. Let me look and ask my local camera shop for advice on the first camera I should buy. So let's ask. Go. I'm in the queue. Camera entered the chat. Joined the chat. So yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, it seems like a dumb idea. Cause I look around. I want a camera. I want a digital camera. <laughs> I want a digital camera so badly. 
<laughs> I just asked, what's the first camera I should buy? And they're gonna be like, well, that depends. You want a video camera, a photo camera? You want, uh, what's your price tag? What lens do you want? What, uh, uh mounts do you want? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they're gonna ask me a thousand questions, but yeah. So yeah, if you can, uh, let me know to rent for, like, these, I don't know. I want to buy one, too. So yeah, what type of photos do you want to do? What do you mean, what type of photos? Oh, you mean like landscape, portrait, sunset, uh, animal? Because that'll all depend on the lens too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. In my opinion, this is just my opinion. I feel like it's just kind of dumb because you're gonna eventually realize I just want to buy a damn camera. Although maybe renting one or using somebody else's would be like a cool way or a good way to like start and say, hey, well, I just want to, I want to just figure out what I like. Because I was looking at her ca camera and I went, oh, it's a Canon. What's with everybody and their dang Canons, man? Everybody buys a, you know why? Because the Canon Rebels were very big cameras at one point and everybody and their mother had a Canon Rebel T something. T-I. T something I. Or T something, you know? Rebel T3i, Rebel T T4i, 5i, 6i, 7i, 8i, 9i, whatever. Like and now it's like the Sony's that have like that are pretty big and you know so Yeah. I mean, my friend had a Panasonic. And he spent thousands of dollars on trying to fix those damn things. Man, those are stupid. Mm. There's problems and you spend some stupid. Well, the whole thing cost them thousands of dollars, but yeah. So in my opinion, don't get a camera company that you that's not like established and like knows what they're doing, basically. Look, in my opinion, I asked my friend who's a videographer. What camera she uses, and she's like, she's I think another Canon or something. I don't know. In my opinion, Canon's very popular brand of camera. Now, is it a good brand or bad brand? I don't know. I've never used one. <laughs> I never owned one. A7 IV, okay. Okay. Let's see if the A7 IV is probably expensive as hell. I don't know much about cameras, to be honest. I, I know cameras are... Also, the other thing that people say about cameras is, save about a thousand dollars if you want to get a camera. Even used, you'd have to probably have a thousand dollars. Like, really? It's like, yeah. Lenses hold their value because lenses are very useful. They're very, 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 very useful. Because you can just reuse them on your next camera. Like, they're not... They don't go down in quality. Your camera sensor goes down in quality after time because... Because of, like certain things, right? Like, you know, certain, like, you know, just, you know, better quality, better, better, what's it called? Like, you know, better sensors come out, better technology, but not, not, not the lenses. The lenses stay exactly as good as they were the day you bought them. Unless you scratch them. That's, but that's only because scratching them would be like a... Well, that would be your fault, right? Not because I didn't appreciate. Although, apparently you can up, update your camera lenses? Okay. <sighs> Let's see. There are many other cameras, too. So the first one is a Sony... A7... 4. Mark 4 or 4? I think it's Mark 4. I think it's Mark IV, but yeah. Um, yeah, so. So, yeah. So, like, I heard that, and, like, you can update a lens? What? You get a firmware on a lens? <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Wow, okay. Anyway, so, yeah. In my opinion, I like photography and videography. I like photography a lot. I like photography a lot. I like photography a lot. Like, a lot. Also, like I was talking in the last episode, 
film. That look of film is just... Mwah, like, oh, it looks so good. To me, I feel like... It's... Fantastic. So, like, yeah. <coughs> so, yeah, I like it a lot. Like, the film look is also really cool, but I do that, like, once in a blue moon, once I get a real camera. Because I, I said, like, last time, like, last episode, like, or the episode before that, whatever, I was like, So yeah, where it's like, essentially, every, ca every photo is free, once you get a digital camera. You're paying upfront for that initial cost, but once you realize, oh, I can fit, fit like a million photos on a, whatever, SD card, or on a media card, you realize, oh, Every photo is essentially free. The camera's not. But every it'd be like a printer charging you for every piece of paper you print. It's like, no, that's stupid. But, but, then being like, well, no, you have to pay the upfront cost, but the thing is, Sony A7C and the Canon R4. So yeah, like, yeah, but like, or like, upfront having to pay for a really expensive printer, but then being like, oh well. But not, but then be like, oh, every print is free. Every piece of paper is free. Or you have some way of supplying your paper for free. But yeah, um, I think that's gonna be it for now, guys. So, uh, if you want to get in contact with me, you want to talk to me, you know, ask me questions, comments, concerns. There's the email tacoimposters at gmail dot com. That's tacoimposters at gmail dot com. There's the, um, there's the, uh, two Discord servers. And then if you want to support me, there's the Patreon. That's Patreon. Patreon.com slash wingwong. That's Patreon.com slash wingwong. There's the um, mer uh, there's my music if you want to. Uh, both W's are capital. Um, there's my music if you want to stream it or uh, buy it. There's, and then there's my merch or my like clothing stuff, my Etsy store. I think that's gonna be it for now, guys. So, adios, mi amigos. Goodbye and God bless. <laughs>